Welcome back everyone. Today I'm really excited to show you the Brick, which is a $50 device that really, really gives you control over what apps you want to use. All you have to do is to tap this Brick to go into quote unquote Brick mode. And you can customize the apps here that you have access to. Right now I'm only giving access to Libby and Pocket Cast and of course the stock apps that the iPhone comes with. And all I have to do is tap the Brick. And right there with the NFC tag, now it will tell me, as you will see in just a second, all of these apps are distractions. So if I try to open Gmail or Amazon or Zoom, it will say, this is a distraction. Your phone is currently bricked. To access Gmail, tap your brick. You will go back, tap the brick right there, and voila, I can go back to my Gmail or Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Look at all the comments that you guys left, which is, you know, super amazing that we're able to do that. But then if I want to go into productivity mode and I want to say, hey, I only want to listen to podcasts or Libby or check my text messages right there, you go, you tap your brick, maybe you leave it at home and you go about your day without all of these distractions. And there is no accessibility features. There is no way that you're going to get through it um, because that's how they have made it. Actually, they do have a warning, which I want to show you now that I'm going to be unbricked, but right here. If you delete the app, um, kind of like the emergency on bricks, if you delete the app, you will lose all the progress, all the track data. And not only that, but you may not be able to use the brick. So they're trying to make this very appealing to people that maybe have that kind of like, hey, what if I just delete the app? Well, if you delete the app, then you lose $50. And I mean, I think that's a very interesting approach because it puts some hurt if you want to get rid of this uh, app and if you want to get rid of the system that you created for yourself they're also trying to get emergency on bricks to be paid uh, but they're kind of like playing with different ideas and i think that's actually a good idea if you want an emergency on brick pay 99 cents and then it really makes you think is it really an emergency do i really need this well that may make you carry the brick wherever you are but it kind of forces you into this mentality of maybe you have to figure things out differently uh, contact the founders if you are really interested in kind of like you know doing all of these kind of suggestions and stuff like that they do have a number right there uh the frequently asked questions um you go to their website getbrick.app and of course you can contact them there right there to their email i, I believe tj uh, at getbrick.app i think that's one of them but go to their faq and you know like essentially you will have the idea right there that uh, you know why they created this why they did you know whatever uh, but essentially it's kind of like a mixture in between the flip phone and the iPhone and you know they're doing amazing and I think for $50 this is an amazing product this is a very very good device and it allows you to do what you need to do when you're on the go and if you need to take it for an emergency then you can have it maybe on your car maybe on the glove compartment you use it when you have to but most of the time you walk around and you're not using all of these distracting apps and kind of like reminding you what to do. Uh, you can customize the apps, of course, if you want to have access to certain health and fitness or creativity or entertainment. Maybe you want to play chess and you don't see that that's a bad thing, but you get to decide and you get to break and unbreak on your own time. I'm personally going to leave it in my um refrigerator because this part is magnetic so you can attach it to your refrigerator and then when i come home i can unbreak my device probably maybe i'm going to try it with my work phone for a couple of weeks and then maybe go back to a dumb phone because that's just my preference but if you need a smartphone for work for school for whatever i think this is an amazing solution for a decent price for 50 dollars, you get everything you need i hope this helps you and i hope it adds value to your day and i will see you in the next video